Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a loadout video because my last loadout video, um, it got a lot of views. I think it's the video on my channel that has the most views currently. And uh, I'm gonna up, basically doing an update video because I've gotten some new gear and um, I'm running kind of a different setup because when you get new gear, you go through and do, like you change your, the way you do stuff. So first, this is my plate carrier. Um, I have a double or a triple double stack on here, which means that they're three long and they can hold six max. So if I wanted, I could hold all my mags on here. Um, that's how I used to run it. But with the issue with that is you have two mags wide on the front of your vest, which makes it very hard to like lay down and prone or get it close to things because you have that extra width. So I've switched it dust down to one with um, a single mag pouch over here. I'm wanting to switch over to taco pouches. The taco pouches are really good for having like single layers like this. Um, but one of the things, you may see you only have four mags here. I actually have six mags. Um, I have the other two on my battle belt. I'll get to that and then next after I get through my vest. But I have this here, my single mag pouch. Over here, I have, my vest doesn't fall over, um, a rubber knife right here. Now, it is actually Velcroed on, so I can tear it off. I can pull, put it on my shirt if I wanted to because my shirt has Velcro on the sides. But it is a rubber knife. It goes in this plastic sheath. Super, like, it's bendable. It's not going to hurt anybody. Like, doesn't cut. It's plastic, or it's rubber, so it's not going to hurt anybody. Um, you can throw this, use it as melee kills. You just want to make sure that if you're playing at a field that they actually allow melee kills and stuff like that because sometimes you could play, say you're running past somebody, you throw the knife at them and they don't know that it's a melee kill, then it can delete, lead into a lot of arguing and then that just that's not what the point of airsoft is. So on, I've actually modded this vest a little bit, I'll get into that in a second. Um, but I actually have a sling that I have changed. So what I did is this used to be like a full body sling, gun sling. And I actually cut it down to where it's attached back here. Where these shoulder straps attach into, it is attached on right here to hold it on. Because what I had it was, I had it routed to the back and straight down try to keep it there but then the issue was it kept moving and it wouldn't stay in the same place so now it stays in the same place now you can see it's kind of like off centered that's because this is the one that I clipped my gun this doesn't clip to my gun this just holds it here and so it I go I'm right-handed so I shoot right-handed most of the time but I switch to lefty so when I hook it on I have more leverage and like more length when I go right compared to when I go left where it gives it a little bit more tight so that I can switch quickly back and forth. Um, up here I have an ICOM shoulder mic for my ICOM radio which is mounted back here on the back of my vest. Now these are the radios, we don't use them all the time. I have a couple videos that I have used radios in with my teammates. It's just sometimes we normally play 2v1s and 1v1s, which makes it hard, especially in 2v1s. It kind of makes it unfair because then those people are communicating and you can be outrun. Um, up here, this is my GoPro tool that I use to tighten my GoPro screws. These are two empty 12 gram CO2 containers. Um, we use these when we play at my house, cause this is where we play. Um, we use these as grenades, which is super easy. Um, you can't use these as grenades at fields. You have to have like actual airsoft grenades. So we just use these because we have a ton of them. I probably have 50 or so behind me right now that are empty because we just go through so many of them. Um, so that is all in the front of my vest. This vest, um, I'm going to have all of my gear linked in the description. This vest is a very comfortable vest. So it only has six molly across the front, which is kind of small. I am hoping to upgrade to an eight molly across the front. That means I can actually hold four mags across the front and I don't have to have one over here. Because what I'm planning on doing is having it some 
like other YouTubers have with Aiden the Cross, and you have all six of your mags on your vest, just single road. So you have two over here, four on the front, and one on the front, or run on the, the right side. So that is why I have this. There is a waterproof pouch up here. I keep maps and stuff like that in here just because I mean, they're not actual maps, they're just maps of our yard. Just for like, if we do point capture and capture flag and that type of stuff. Um, I actually, I'll get to the plates in a minute. I actually have plates in here. They're not, they don't fit the full vest, but they fit it just enough. Um, on my back, I have, really doesn't probably make sense to any of you guys, but I have a Novrich pistol mag pouch here. It doesn't make sense really, but it kind of, it looks cool. And what I had in it originally when I put it on here is I actually had a flashlight in it just for if we play night games, which we don't play night games that often. So I'm trying to figure out what in the world I'm gonna put in here because it doesn't really make sense having it back there because you can't reach it, but it kind of looks really cool with the flashlight. Um, back here, I have my Arctic Falcon Airsoft patch, so people know that, like, if I ever lose this, chances are pro somebody's probably not going to give it back to me. Um, but this is, like, a sign of identification, so, like, they know it's mine, but they also know that this is my name, so I can tell them Arctic Falcon Airsoft on YouTube if they wanted to look me up. Sometimes, if I'm not wearing my vest, I'm going only pistols, I'll put this on my shirt or on my helmet. But this is um, actually a hydration pack for, it fits this vest perfectly. Um, it has a pouch here that I keep extra BBs in, um, bug wipes for if we're playing when it's buggy outside with mosquitoes and all that stuff. It's really annoying. Um, so I have all of that stuff in here. I have some first aid stuff in there too. Again, my radio, my shoulder mic, I have it routed back down through and then up. So that is basically all I have on my vest. Now, if I go, in case you're wondering guys, I actually do weave my molly. Some people say I don't. I actually completely weave my molly so my bags and stuff, like they don't move around at all. Okay, so this is the inside of my vest. Um, so this doesn't make sense, but this is, close this this is the original vest with the original pouches i have on it but my cummer boards are actually um armor republic let's see right here they're armor republic cummer boards because they have velcro on it and i have a smaller torso so this is velcro which makes it nice for like getting it super tight so it actually stays on my body but my plates um i don't go with airsoft, um, I you don't go with side plates normally. I know some people that do. They just don't really make sense because, like, you're not being shot at by real bullets. But my goodness. So my plates are actually homemade wood plates. Get this in frame. They fit basically my whole vest. Um, I used to have foam plates in here, but um, the foam plates kind of break after a time and they don't like they make my vest. They made my vest super thick. They were an inch and a half foam. This is only quarter inch wood. So this is actually really nice. I put this in here and then I close this back up and that's what actually makes it so I can stand it up like so without having to hold it but it's not connected together, so it's not gonna stay up by itself. So that is basically everything for my vest. Um, now I'm gonna go on to my battle belt and what I have on there. Okay, so this is my battle belt. Um, if I connect this together, it doesn't, really won't make sense. Um, so I actually don't wear a harness with my battle belt because you will see with some people like snipers and people like that, they'll just go battle belt and harness. I have a harness for my battle belt. I do not wear it because when I'm wearing a plate carrier, it gets really uncomfortable putting the harness on and wearing the plate carrier above it. It just like makes you feel really confined and it's really weird to move with all that 
on there so i just go without it um it has these rubber pads on the inside they are super strong velcro they're rubberized on the inside so when they're on my belt that's on my pants they don't it doesn't move that much i want to get a velcro belt so it just velcros onto my belt and it's not going to move at all um but here are my other two mags these are just in a double mag pouch um these are again kwa k120 mags um all of this stuff's gonna be linked in the description all the pouches and everything i'll have them under different categories to make it easier to find um this right here this may look really confusing and out of place but this is actually a co2 mag tool from evike you can see that now this carabiner and this paracord does not come with it in case you're wondering um, but this has an Allen key on the bottom to um, a, like take your CO2 in and out. And then also has a valve screw up here for if you have any issues like that. But it, it's really nice for changing CO2 like in game and stuff like that. Cause it's right here. Um, I put this core, this paracord and carabiner on it just in case it falls out. Cause I didn't want to put it in a pouch because if I put it in a pouch, it would probably end up i'd probably never get it out of that pouch um so now over here to my pistol this is my steyr m9 a1 pistol it holds 15 rounds in a stick mag super nice pistol um my opinions on this pistol i will give that in a review video later sometime i don't know when but this pistol i mean I would rate it if I'm rating it now, six out of 10 stars. I'll go over that in my um, pistol review video if I do one. Um, but here is my pistol holster. It's just one that you get off Amazon. I don't know if I'll link this in the description because I can't find it anywhere, but it's just got a mag pouch up here. Normally I used to put um, my speed loader in here just to make it easy. So then I just pistol speed loader right there. That goes in there, I button this on. And now onto the back of my battle belt. So now you can see here is these two, um, two more Novridge pistol mag pouches. So they look super big. They actually are kind of big, but um, I put two speed loaders in here. I, cause you can't exactly get extra mags for this pistol. Well, you can, but they're stick mags. So they're kind of really annoying to carry around. Um, so I just carry multiple speed loaders. I'm hoping to get a new pistol sometime in the future that I can have extra max for and I won't have to carry a speed loader. Um, but that is these, these are like 90 round speed loaders. So that's 180 rounds, basically one of my M4 mags. This is, um, I'm pretty, this is an admin pouch actually. So this came and I said two with another admin pouch. I actually don't feature anywhere on my body because it's just awkward. So this one actually has Velcro on here, so you can put pouch patches and stuff like that on here if you wanted to. Also has Molly for putting, you probably put one of these pistol pouches on there if you wanted to, but it's kind of awkward. Um, in here I have, doesn't make sense, but I have a tourniquet, um, extra CO2, some Allen keys for um, stuff on my gun, like my foregrip, my, uh, my sight and my flashlight when I use my flashlight and then also it's about right here You can hear that it's not the speed loaders that is BBs that I keep in here I keep a lot of BBs with me When I'm playing extra BBs, I probably have about 1500 extra BBs with me And that's actually enough to fill up all six of my mags But I would have to use these pistol speed loaders because I don't keep my um, M4 mag speed loader on me because it is huge and when you load one mag it sounds like you're running with a high cap because it is super like you it holds a thousand rounds so it's you can basically tell what's gonna happen so that is basically all for my battle belt now thoughts on a battle belt we're not exactly doing a battle belt review video but I would give this 7 out of 10 because it's super comfortable. I'd probably rate that more if I had different things on it. 
but it's super comfortable. It's nice because it gives me more space to like hold stuff on my waist. So I don't have to like, if I don't want to wear my plate carrier, I still am able to hold my pistol and a couple mags. Now, if I didn't have a pistol and it sounds weird, but I actually ran one time two pistols with a pistol here and a thigh leg pistol under here. It was kind of hard to reach. But my hoping was one day if I wanted to, I could run mags all the way around this battle belt, these mags, and just run uh, um, a thigh pouch or thigh pistol pouch on my thigh just because it would be down there and I could have mags on my waist if I didn't want to use my plate carrier. Doesn't really make sense, but that's just my thoughts on that. So now let's get on to my helmet. Okay, so my helmet is a PJ helmet. It is actually a tan helmet, but I put camel cover on it because camel cover just gives you a little bit more concealment and if you're playing in the woods or brushy environments and stuff like that. So this is actually a one tigress. Actually, no, that says it there. This is a one tigress cover. One thing you wanna make sure is when you're buying helmets and covers, that they're the same size because I had an issue when I bought this. My helmet's a small medium and I bought a large, extra large um, cover because I didn't know like, it didn't tell me size, it just said the size on the inside. But this one's actually really nice because it has like, if you can see, I've got patches everywhere. Um, it came with this pouch back here, this pouch of Velcro's on. And so I actually have uh, two hex patches on here and this patch right here. I want to get another heck, two more hex patches put on here and on the other side. Um, I have a rail here. I don't run anything on the side of my helmet because it's super heavy and awkward. You have to have counterweight on one side. If not, then your head sags on one side and you look like a doofus. Um, but on the other side, I have my hex pouch and my hex patch and my other patch. But like, what I want to do is I'm probably going to take this elastic Recording off and put a deadlight on top of here just because when you're playing night games and like I said we don't play night games that often but if we do I want to have all the stuff to do it and so I want to put a dead light up here so um, it's easier to like know when you're dead because when you're playing and it's pitch black outside if you don't have a light on you can't see anything so it's a lot easier just to have a dead light or some sort of dead light, like a dead light on your arm or something, so you can let the people know that you're dead man. Um, so on the back, I have a huge patch that says Umbrella Armory on it. I don't have an Umbrella Armory gun, so don't ask that in the comments. Um, I actually have Umbrella Armory parts in my gun. They're not their signature parts, they're just parts I bought off their website and I was gonna put this patch on my vest. It turns out that it's huge, so I just put it on my helmet. It's a PVC patch, really nice. But this pouch on the back is, um, it's a counterweight pouch. I don't put counterweights in it because this pouch actually by itself is enough to counterweight my GoPro for some reason. And with that patch on it, it just counterweights it and it makes it perfect for a counterweight. Onto my GoPro. This is not a real GoPro. This is a knockoff GoPro. It is an Akeso GoPro. It, if you've heard me say why I didn't upload my insane 6v3 video, that's because this camera has the option to run on um, 1080 by 60, which is what YouTube currently runs on as their HD and this camera does not run. It does has that feature, but it will not record. So I had to downgrade it back to 108030. Um, that is what I record all of my stuff on because I can't get my software to run 108060, but I run everything else on 108030. This actually is really good. It has a really long battery life. It's really nice. I So if you guys are new to my channel, I did have a gun cam. I don't have a selfie gun cam anymore. Um, this is newer than my other one that I used on my gun cam. And on my gun cam, that is an older version of this. And if for some reason something happened to it, 
to where if it has the slightest impact, it just shuts off. So I can't run it like the vibe. It was so bad that when it's in there in the waterproof case, the vibration from the gun, which is minimal at the end of the gun, would shut it off. So I have this cam. I want to get another one so I can actually run self cam because head cam selfie cam videos look really cool. If you're old to my channel, you are probably know that I had that and you're wonder, you probably wonder why I just switched and you didn't see it on there anymore. Um, that's because it didn't work. It just didn't record. It would record for 30 seconds. I'd shoot my gun and then it would just turn right back off. So that is why I don't run um, a selfie cam. I have everything to run a selfie cam. I just don't have the cam to run it. So that is basically all for this video. Um, actually, a couple more things. I'm gonna go over my safety. You can't really see this. This is my safety. Yeah, it's safe. Doesn't look like it, but it is. These are my goggles. Um, these are knocker, knock off of the Garter GX1000 goggles, but they are just as good. Yes, I did spray paint them. Don't ask why. But these are super nice because there's a gap all the way all around the top and all the way around the bottom to let air in. So as long as you're not breathing straight up to your goggles, these most of the time, as long as you're not playing in the rain or not breathing on your goggles, they won't fog and they're super amazing and comfortable. Um, so my mask. Yeah, I have to wear a mask. Um, doesn't make sense because this isn't like an actual mesh mask. This is a neoprene face cover. Um, and I've sewn on some metal mesh. This stuff stops BBs and I've been hitting the mouth multiple times. It stops them. Doesn't I mean it's not exactly the most comfortable when you get shot right in here because it explodes and it hurts really bad. I've been hit everywhere else on my face, like in this tan area, I've been hit everywhere like on my cheeks and it because it's it's a i think it's a 1.2 millimeter neoprene so that means it's super thin and it's gonna hurt a little bit when you get shot but you're not gonna have the nasty bruise or will on your face from getting shot in the face like you would if you're getting shot at in the face now some people i know don't run masks they should they don't um some people i know run the masks that are all mesh those are kind of good, but um, they're not exactly the best. So I'm not gonna get into, I'll do other videos on like safety and on my pistol and like all that stuff just so it'll make more sense because this video is coming to a close because this is everything I have. This is everything I run besides my gun. I've already done a video on that. So yeah, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and Turn on post notifications so you're notified every time that I upload. It's free. You guys can change your mind if you don't like my channel. Hopefully you guys do, but I'll catch you guys in the next video.